Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm at the messy desk this morning. I didn't clean up yet from the participation party from the Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge that was yesterday. Um, it was lots of fun and I introduced a digital kit that is going to be debuting on Thursday, January, I don't have the date, but uh, it'll be Thursday. And um, the participants received the majority of the kit for just for participating and finishing their journals by the deadline. And so I'm going to play a little bit with it because it's still on my desk and um, I need a video for today and I've got lots of things to do. It's really nice to be looking at this because I'm putting Christmas away and you know, it's like I'm I'm getting I'm tired of red and white and <laughs> green today. I'm I'm putting all the Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses, as we say, into hibernation. So um one of the pages of this digital is this here. And um so what I'm working with first is gonna be this piece here, and I've just made a large tag. Um <clears throat> out of it and so I'm gonna leave it like this except for that I want to round the corners I think I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners round the corners and this um right now I'm gonna do it as long as it is but I think because this this kit um, includes six story pages, the actual story, and it will fit Reader's Digest size. So I may want to actually cut this down. So, but I can do that when after I decide if I'm going to do this particular journal that I've started. If I'm going to do it, um, I've just printed the pages, so I haven't cut them down yet. Um, but I'm pretty excited that it'll fit into the format of, um, Reader's Digest. I have several of those vintage Reader's Digest with the really cool covers. And so my idea was that, um, I would do something, I, this, this kit would go be able to work at that size because it is a smaller than regular regular size so I'm just going to use some fabric fix because it's fast and I am attaching some avocado dyed lace here I love the color it works really well with this kit and then I have one of the hearts. So this is the um, lace that I got at Hobby Lobby. And so I thought I would play with it as well. I'm just going to add some the fabric tack to this heart here. I just cut it out of the... There we go. I think this kit is going to be really fun, really romantic. And it's called The Courting of Lady Jane. It includes the story from a 1902 magazine, The Courting of Lady Jane, six pages. And um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what what people do with this kit as well as working with it myself so I just um, I also had picked this up at um, Hobby Lobby it was $7.99 for three yards it was half price so four dollars for three yards but if you've purchased just pieces of applique like on a button card um, you can pay quite quite a bit and then just by being able to take it apart like this 
um, I think that that is going to be really fun. The other thing I purchased was these La Petite's um, from the Paper Studio. They were $3.99 stickers, Paper Studio stickers, and they're butterflies. And I thought that they would be a fun addition to this. If we stick to the, and they are layered. So I was wondering, I haven't played with them yet, but I thought you might be able to um, fold these and make them flutter. Yeah. That's what I was hoping, and it works. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this on here. And there I have a tag, and it can be, you can write on the back. And so, yeah, it's a little bit cockeyed up there. So this is the other piece after I cut that heart off. Mm, I'm not going to use it on that. I kind of like it, though. I think I might use it. I'm going to use it. Because, <laughs> you know, don't want anything to get have to get thrown away. I'm trying to use up the crooked part of my fabric tack here. <laughs> I really didn't want to use my fingers, but... That's why we call it the messy desk. There we go. Just lay that down. Okay. There we go. So, and then I thought uh, you can go ahead and add a word maybe. I do still have some. This one is chit chat. And it is pink, or pink, it is white and craft, and it's just single words. I think we'll put dreams. I'm going to put it down here, but I... I think we might need something up here. <laughs> and we've got plenty of glue. There we go. A different collaging effect than I normally do, definitely. I really like these butterflies. So the all three of these, the, those were from um, Hobby Lobby. And I just got them last week. So there's that. And then I had started this. This was from a tag pack that I had from many years ago. And we have this piece of lace that I have left over. I'm just going to go ahead and use the... So this is from the um, that large image. And it is printed at... Uh, three and a half by five. So I got four of these onto one cardstock and I cut them. This one I ripped out. So there's that. And um, I think we'll just add the word this time. No, um, no butterfly. And we are going for the. Hopeful. Might want to add a little, a little bit of glue to that. Oh, it's sticking. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, the one other thing I 
I thought about was going ahead and adding some lines. Do I still have a ruler? Because I've redone my craft space and things are, uh, I know they're not missing. They're just got a new spot and I don't know where, where it is. So I have a really cool rolling ruler. Where's my rolling ruler? Sometimes you just can't find. Uh, there's the scale. Aha. Is that the rolling ruler? So, okay, so you when you <laughs> do this, you want to move some stuff out of the way. Out of the way. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eye it. Be careful when you're, you could, I should have um, probably washi taped that down to the table. There you go. So that gives me a tag. And um, then I have, let's see. I can't find the end of the, there we go. I'm just gonna put some of this. It's pretty generic and but that will finish this off. I do have eyelids. I probably should put an eyelid in it. Okay, so I'm going to put one side through at a time. <laughs> I'm grabbing, not grabbing the, there we go. Okay. Carefully close it. So that gives us another tag. And then I have a paint chip, a paint chip, and I have this image that we, um, we went ahead and I cut it out. It's from the three and a half by five size. And then I just went around the edge with my fingernail to kind of distress it a little bit make it look like a stamp was the idea and so for this one We also have this hand. Might be prettier. Okay. What's this? Oh, this is a scrap. I do like the lace. We don't need this anymore. We do know where it lives again. It's got it. It has a new home. <laughs> we might. You might actually see it every once in a while. Might use it. Okay, we do have this cool uh, doily that I got at Ben Franklin. trying to bring in some white into this um, this project because some of the backs of some of the pages that I'm using are white and um, so there will be touches of white so I know I'm gonna put a um, and I smudged here so I want to cover that up I'm 
Okay, and you know that a paint chip is actually paint. So, um, it will scratch. I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on parts of this doily. Before I put it down. I really like these. They remind me of the doilies that we played with back when I, that we made stuff with back in the day when I was making stuff as a kid. And I got this in the store that I used to shop at when I was a kid. But back then it um, actually, no, it was, wasn't it the, it was the Sears outlet store, wasn't it? Or what was that? What was Ben Franklin way back? Because TGMY in Ohio's was where true value is. I think. Boy. <laughs> Gonna have to. Okay, so we have some lace, we have a lace doily, and now we have this beautiful image. I'm leaving the words pink icing, because who knows, that could be what this rose is called. So now the back of this is not, um, not journal friendly. So let's go ahead and add a back to it. We can do that. Okay, or I have this note paper and it was on a wire and I took it off the wire. One of the things I like to do with this is, um, is layer it. So I'm going to put one down. And we're going to make a booklet tag. So I'm going to put one down on the back. Okay, and I could just do that. And that would be plenty. It would give us a place to write on our tag. But I'm going to go ahead and cut those. And just go ahead and come along and glue these down. So we'll have a few pages to write. So if you have a little bit longer story to write, you can write it here. Okay, so we have this little tag. still drying. I 
think that's kind of fun. And then out of, let's see. Well, we have these little Um, they could be booklets and it's wallpaper so for that now one thing about wallpaper is things don't glue to it very well um, I usually sew to my wallpaper usually I do have the petty cash And go ahead and make my own little papers here. Okay. Not quite a small enough. Okay, that one will work. staple in here. Oh, we do. Very cool. So we'll just staple this. And the other thing we could do is add a ticket. Sorry. Okay, the way that this was supposed to work is I was supposed to be able to just rip these off, but that ain't happening. <laughs> okay. So we do have a ticket. And... From this one. I'm going to go ahead and rip around the image here. this way and this way so I want my numbers up on the piece okay so for a flat paper clip I just go ahead put the large part of the paper clip down the back the small on the inside can use the fabric tack the fabric tack fabric <laughs> today there we go we're just gonna glue some down okay there we go 
So there we have our ticket paper clip. You can come in and add some glue. Put this down onto our ticket. And this will be able to keep our little goodie closed here, or we can use this paper clip somewhere else. But it is made and ready. And let's do one more. Um, we have this. This was cut from the large piece, and I've turned it into a tuck spot. And I thought, I think we can just come in and add some of this doily. Again, I'm just going to come in, put the glue right onto the doily. If I had to pay closer attention, I would know right where to go to on it, but I want to make sure that it's going to stay down. Um, I really like this applicator on this Tombow Mono Liquid Glue because it will it's a uh, thin, a really thin applicator. So there, just going to add that on there. And again, um, I like to use white in little spots throughout the journal when I have um, some papers that are going to be white. Now these two little spots here we need a little glue under there. Under, not on top. <laughs> and you could just put your glue on this paper. Okay, so there, that is our little tuck spot. And I really I really like it. I was going to add more to it, but I really don't think we even need to add anything. And, you know, adding that is just going to give us some more bulk. So I think we'll leave that. Let's go ahead and look at these now that they've they're dried. I think we're going to add a piece of this. I think they had this um, in yellow also. Okay, so I like that. I like it. Now the thing on this one is I probably want to go up high because I don't want it to end up down in a pocket, right? And there is a right side and a wrong side on these. They actually look like a rose on this side. So there's that. Remember, it's got this going on on the back. There's that. And there's this. Oh, I like, I think we'll put butterfly on our paper clip. Mm 
and turn it, give it a little flutter. Okay, so this is what we got. Oh, we can make this real quick. We have this stamp from my stash. It's a canceled, it's a real canceled stamp. 29 cent real canceled stamp. With uh, pink violets on it. I think we'll just put it right here on this uh, memory Rolodex card. And I can put it in, and I might use it in this journal. I might not, but it's kind of fun to put a stamp on something in the place that if this was, you know, a little bit bigger and it was a postcard, that's where you, know, you would see a stamp. So I think that's kind of fun. So uh, there we go. Our little embellishment tutorial tags and um, using different things. And I'm just trying to use the things that were on my... Oh, I'm so sorry. On my desk. Um, you know, could add this for a tab that you could pull this out. Or to this one, even. I know. I'm, here I go. So, find something to celebrate every day. Um, I hope you'll check out Recording of Lady Jane coming on Thursday at Dear Julie Julie Etsy Shop. Um, how are you doing on your junk, junk journals out there? The Just Junk Journals? Um, the group is growing and, you know, we still have till January 30th to finish our journals and, um, the participation prize will be a digital printout, uh, printable, digital printable from Dear Julie Julie. And that's pretty fun. This is what they got for the dollar store Christmas junk journal challenge. This was just one of the pages of the kit that they're receiving. So yeah, find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Stay tuned for puppy and kitty pictures. Bye. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.